This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. What's up guys? Salut, this is Alex. Welcome back to the Ramen series season 2. So in the previous episode I was in Chicago to see the absolute ramen legend that is Mike Satinover as Ramen Lord and together we hosted a crazy pop-up event creating and serving more than 300 bowls of ramen in one night. Such a crazy, amazing and yet very humbling experience. Right now I'm heading back to Paris via New York and since my flight is in a few hours I got some time to kill and I really feel like having a bowl of ramen. I mean, look at the weather. It's misty, it's gloomy, it's a little cold. This is not calling for a clear broth. This is calling for tonkotsu. Tonkotsu is one of the four founding styles of ramen, along with miso ramen, seasoned with miso, shio ramen seasoned with salt, and shoyu ramen seasoned with soy sauce. Tonkotsu has become globally the most iconic style of ramen. Probably the most recognizable element to this style is the thick, creamy soup. This iconic broth is made from pork bones that have been boiled for many hours and you know that the rolling boil helps to emulsify the pork fat into the broth making for a very rich creamy soup, almost milky. The other thing tonkotsu ramen is known for are the noodles which are super thin, you know straight, very firm and almost crunchy or snappy in the center. So, literally, the most popular spot to have traditional tonkotsu is right in front of me. It's called Ichiran Ramen. In 1960, Ichiran was born in Fukuoka City, Japan. Ichiran started as a food store. Today, Ichiran has become some sort of a small empire with over 80 locations worldwide. That place is not only famous for its bowl of ramen, but also for its very unique setup where you're supposed to eat in what they call a ramen focus booth. Ramen focus could be the, 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 the title of my series. There you go, this is the place. <laughs> One person? Okay, we'll give you this. You'll be able to fill out at the table. You're going to be at 22. Thank 22. you. I guess this is going to be me. Alright, so this is my first time here. It's pretty unusual. I feel like I'm a salary man. So basically this is what I see, okay? I've got a menu, with loads of text, and then... Thank you! Apparently you can't do this. So, why am I coming to Ichiran? It's a restaurant chain, it's not like artisan ramen. What am I doing here? I mean, first of all, this place has been recommended a lot to me. Also, I'm not super familiar with tonkotsu in general, so I thought it would be good to educate myself. And last, Ichiran is more of an experience, more than just a restaurant. And I'm all for living new experiences in life. I've got a menu in front of me. It says, customize your ramen. The saltiness, so I'm gonna go for medium. Medium is fine. Richness, the oil amount, I'm gonna go for rich. Now is not the time to chicken out, especially since it's a pork-based broth. Minced garlic, garlicky. Scallions, obviously with. Shashu, obviously with. Original spicy red sauce, I think medium is fine. The texture of the noodle, I'm gonna go for firm, because I feel like this is gonna be more suited for tonkotsu. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the recommended toppings set. So now I just need to wait for somebody to come and pick up my menu. So you just want the ramen in the topping set? Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thinking this is gonna be like a ramen egg. Some shashu, some nori seaweed, a bit of mushrooms and some spring onions. I should probably refrain from eating all the toppings straight away. Well, otherwise, I won't have anything to put in the ramen. 
It does feel like this restaurant was invented by someone who's maybe not the greatest fan of human interactions. This sound, this is triggering my appetite. I'm just gonna go for a tiny piece of shashu, okay? I should probably refrain from eating all the toppings. Something's fishy is happening behind the curtain. I don't want him to see me. I, I can spot a few things happening and every time somebody's passing by, I'm thinking this might be for me. I feel like the first bowls are being served right next to me. This waiting is killing me. I feel so left alone in my cubicle. You are crazy. I think this world is doomed, maybe. Oh yes. Nice. Thank you. There is a sense of drama and, and theater. This black box, me alone in this cubicle, waiting for my fate to be decided for me. Okay, and now a few words from our sponsor, BetterHelp. It's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service. It is 100% online, and you can tap into a network of 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, you just need to answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then, you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or even video call. You can message your therapist at any time and schedule a live session when it's convenient for you. If your therapist isn't the right fit for any reason, you can switch your new therapist at no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you can get the same professionalism and quality you expect from an in-office therapy but with a therapist who is custom-picked for you, more scheduling flexibility and at more affordable price. Get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash alex. It is better H-E-L-P, also linked below in the description. Thank you, BetterHelp, for sponsoring this video. Very clean, very cloudy, obviously, because it's tonkotsu and it's supposed to be cloudy, but very clean, the presentation, tak, tak, tak. Oh, it looks amazing. Very savory, garlicky. I am salivating like crazy. And this is very hot. Spicy, savory, rich. So many different flavors in there. Definitely very meaty. This is supposed to be one of the showstopper, shashu. Usually it's pork belly that is braised and caramelized. It doesn't look like pork belly, this one. Go for another bite. They gave me a ramen egg, but I have to do all the work myself. Right, so this is the ramen egg. It doesn't seem to be that soft, but what do I know? Let's just bite into it and see. Very creamy. It does look very good. The spice in that soup is very appreciated. I should have gone for something spicier. Everybody's eating alone behind me, exactly like I am. Many of them are on their phone. I mean, it's understandable. Something great and something weird at the same time in this restaurant ex experience. Regularly, there are these chimes running. Like, -da -da, -da 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 -da. It's like somebody completed a bowl or something. -da -da, ta -ta 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 -ta. The noodles are already starting to change in terms of texture. So I ordered them firm and I'm thinking they are soft. There's a bit of music which is covering my voice. But at the same time, sometimes the music gets really, really low like right now. Don't say anything to anybody. Let's order some kaidama, more noodles.
Okay, so this is the extra serving of noodle. In all fairness, I didn't order these because I was still hungry. I'm just curious to see how extra firm noodles are gonna taste like. Hmm, they're amazing. I'm such a noob. I drank all the broth and now I'm left with dry noodles. Goof 101. There is some good in that bag. I can feel the wheat flavor. I can also obviously smell like the corn sweet, like the alkali ingredient of all this. It's some sort of eggy, eggy smell to noodles, even when they don't get eggs in them. Of course, they are extra firm. They're also springy and chewy. So right now, I am very, very, very full. I think it makes sense that tonkotsu is super popular in the US and worldwide. It's easy to love, I love it. It's very strong, very much in your face in terms of fat content, saltiness, savoriness. As good as this tonkotsu ramen was, I love having ramen multiple times a week. And with this, I can't even have this every other week. Even every month is a lot for this one. About the noodles, they are prepared fresh here on location. They are very thin, pretty flavorful, especially when you taste them out of the broth. The toppings, I'm not so sure about the topping. On paper, uh, the shashu that Ichiran is serving was supposed to be a big selling point. Now in reality, well, it's too thin, uh, so it's hard to get it juicy, it's hard to get it tender. To put it simple, I had way better shashu in different places. It's weird to send the garnishes first without the bowl, because these have been sitting in front of me for like a solid 10 minutes, which means that they might be cold already. What do I think about the egg? Well, the egg is nice, but I wish they peeled it. It's not that I'm lazy. Well, I might be, but it's a restaurant, so I feel like they should take care of it. There was also something pretty cool about this ramen. It was the original spicy red sauce. It's making probably the whole experience a little more fun, a little more exciting, surely. I feel like this ramen is serving a purpose. You're in a city like New York, Tokyo, or any other enormous, chaotic, cold city. You want a bit of comfort? You want a bit of privacy? Ichiran might be your best option. Now, on the other hand, if I go to a restaurant, I want to see people. So eating in an office cubicle, that's not a dream for me. It's been a pleasure to share this weird experience with you. If you feel like we should share more weird experiences, maybe it's time to comment. I'm not ordering tonkotsu for another month. So we we'll see us in the next one. Bye-bye. Salut.